David Harris here. I have my constant companion fish with me. Most people have seen some of my 3,000 plus videos and I'm always training personal protection dogs, big dogs, Rottweilers, Dobermans, German Shepherds, Giant Schnauzers. As a matter of fact, I've been hanging out with all types of dogs my entire career. Over 30 years, I've been working with big dogs, little dogs, smart dogs, dumb dogs, every type of dog imaginable for every type of activity. So continuing on talking about why are small dogs harder to housebreak than large dogs. Part of that reason is instinct, the instinct to keep the den clean. What makes a dog housebreakable? I know that's not a real word, but we're going to use some poetic license and use the word housebreakable. What makes a dog housebreakable? And that's the instinct to keep a den clean. Everyone knows that dogs are descended from wolves. Wolves are den animals and they have the instinct to keep their den clean. If they didn't have that instinct, the den would have a scent that would draw predators. The predators would kill the puppies. That would be the end of that genetic line, okay? Or their den is clean and they, it, that creates a disease. Same end result. The dogs die, end of that genetic line. But we're artificially breeding dogs. We're breeding dogs for our purposes. And with small breeds, the purpose is that it's small, that it's cute, that it's cuddly. Trainability, willingness to please, temperament, these are things that sometimes get left behind when they're breeding for smaller, 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 smaller. My first chihuahua, unlike fish, was a 15 pound dog. Fish is a large chihuahua by chihuahua standards. She weighs about eight pounds. Very commonly, chihuahuas weigh four and five pounds, and I've seen chihuahuas as small as two pounds. Now that breeder was not selecting for trainability, temperament, that breeder was selecting only for size. So the reason we're talking about housebreaking is I don't want you to lose faith. I want you to understand that small dogs are harder to housebreak and you have to be patient. So when a breeder is selecting only for cuteness and size, a lot of times they pass over these instincts for trainability, housebreaking, character, strong temperament. And so you need to be patient. You need to really take the long view when you're housebreaking a small dog. I tell my clients, and I've been telling my clients this for well over three decades, if you have a small breed, a Pomeranian, a Poodle, a Chihuahua, any of these small breeds, plan a year. A plan a full year of housebreaking to have control over that dog, to use positive reinforcement techniques to teach that dog where you want it to use the bathroom, and to have control to eliminate the possibility of any accidents. Put that dog up in its kennel or a small cage if you can't supervise it. If you take a solid year and you have a plan, and then once again there's lots of information on the internet about how to housebreak dogs, if you have a plan and you don't skip steps, you're going to get that dog housebroke in a year. Now that sounds outrageous to take a year to housebreak a small dog, but let me assure you it's the best year you'll ever spend in your life because this little dog can live up to 15, 16, 17. I've had a customer dog that lived to be 22. Small dogs live a long time. So if you think of it that way, spending a year to get this done right is worth it. Skipping steps, get in a hurry, it's cute, who really cares if it pees on the floor every once in a while? That dog will not be housebroke the rest of its life. It's going to create problems for you and your family for the rest of this dog's life. So spending a year sounds crazy, but it's well worth it to have control. So why are dogs harder to, small dogs harder to housebreak? One reason is breeders don't select for that. They don't care. All they want is the smallest dog possible so that you'll buy it because it's little and cute. They don't really care. They have two stud dogs to choose from. Old Peppy, he's a good Chihuahua, he weighs seven pounds, he's friendly and happy and good with children. And then they got this other little Chihuahua over here, Jose, and he does this a lot. He nips at children, he barks constantly, and they never did get him house broke, but he only weighs four pounds. They're going to breed to that smaller dog every time, and you need to understand that. When you're looking to buy a small dog, sometimes tiny is not the best thing. Look at the breed standard, go meet the parents, See if those dogs are sound. Do the sniff test. If you go into the breeder's home and it smells like urine, odds are those dogs are not housebroken. That breeder doesn't care. He's just trying to make some money. So just a little information about why are small dogs hard to housebreak. One, no one selects for that. 
instincts are gone, they don't look anything like a wolf, and they don't have the instincts to keep a den clean like a wolf, but they can be housebroke. Patience is called for. Hope you enjoyed my little rant about housebreaking small dogs. Have faith, have patience, take your time, you will get it done.